So, I must speak about this drop shut craze that has been continuously sought after by many and talked about by many more. I believe it's time tech meets metal and we introduce a new wave. I present the XM18 magnetic multi-disc system. And by utilizing rotating discs that have been magnetically charged, then coupled with their polar opposites at a progressively tighter tolerance that changes degrees with blade travel, ending in a gravity-defying dance I call retraction action. The drop shut killer. This is magnetic mastery at its finest. With just a mere influx and the fine-tuned magnetic point. disc, travel begins. That's not even detected. And at first I was like, this isn't even working. Then I would look away or researching something online, turn back around and be like, what the hell? And all this I couldn't figure out until I put it into GD Engine mode. On. The mode Engine that on. allows the disc to sample at 32 Engine Hertz on. and react in real time in its surroundings Ascending. despite gravity deviations, hence GD. Tilt of handle, pivot, or blade, allowing me to roll completely around the pivot with the handle, blade suspended at its correct position, and clearing the detent without effort. Pretty much like closing a fridge door. No halts, hiccups, or skips. You just tap your fridge door, or possibly let it go and walk away, knowing it will eventually close. And I feel like all knives should be able to do this. All right, all right, I'm gonna cut the BS and let this be a lesson how companies can easily deceive us just by using our very own desires as a false sales pitch in an attempt to sell you something that already exists and doesn't really address any functional purpose. Shit is about to get real. Other than false sense of want. And this is a regular XM18 3 inch Sponto with studs. I did perform my special tune on it. By this I mean my own mix of knife oils, impairing the detent's tune to that perfect spot against the tension from the pivot screws in tandem with the blade's weight. And it's not an easy task, but I love pulling it off perfectly, as in this example. And I think it was definitely easier on the 3 inch due to the studs added blade weight in relationship to the pivot in tandem with the bearings and this Triway XM. And this is the result. And I think it's actually the same action someone showed Rick Hinderer and then he said, hot damn, you got me. Throw that nylon and brass in the bag and call it a day. I mean, call it a Triway. For a three inch, any three inch or sub for me, this is damn impressive. And until now, to be honest, was unsure of the Hinderer not in being a workhorse or its durability, but it being dialed in in action, or lack of any. So this definitely gave me my definitive answer. Tell me your thoughts on the Triway pivot system and the action on the three inch blade. Please share, rate, and believe me, I promise a real and honest review on the XM18 three inch hyper tuned by yours truly, Flipper with Studs. So please subscribe and signing off from the Fuller Fanatic.